In this session we're going to look at how we can use the Boxford CAD CAM design tool software to create programs for an automatic rotary fourth axis. The easiest program we can create is actually to wrap a 2D program uh, around the surface of a cylinder. Uh, we do that by using the convert flat to cylindrical map option and the first thing we do is select the 2D program we could have created this in, 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 in any of the normal ways either by normal uh, CAD programming or manual GNM code programming so we pick the file we want to do we then select both the material and the size of the material that we're going to use and then it has actually wrapped the job around the surface. Now if I just move that round, I'll just slow that down, you can see the machining is working its way around. Now in reality of course it will be the workpiece that would be rotating but just to limit the graphics overhead we're moving the tool in the simulation here. And you can see how it's wrapped that around the surface. It's a very quick and easy way to do some 2D machining or engraving like in this case and wrap it around a cylinder. I'll just let it finish. Okay, so that's the, uh, the simple way to create a program. Um, to do more complex processing of CAD geometry uh, we have a, an import wizard called 4D uh, Geocam. Uh, so if we go to import cylindrical object it will launch that application and this is a wizard base software application where we answer a question per page uh, and work our way through to create a program so the first one is load the load the model so I'm going to load a model into the into the view here next it wants me to define the material I've got some idea of the model size up here uh, so I'll just reduce that material size. Uh, a minimum diameter as well. If we didn't have a diameter running through the middle then the object would actually fall off as we machine it away. Uh, so I'm going to put a diameter of 25. You can see that diameter there. On this page we actually reorient the model to align it uh, to the material. So if I just orient it around. So now we've got it and we've got the 25 diameter running through which will stop the cutter going down and actually machining this away from the material. Okay, I can resize the model. It's actually sized it to fit the material so I'm going to resize it to the scale that I actually designed it at which is 100%. Okay, and I'm going to select the cutter. Now a lot of times in cylindrical machine we use a radius cutter for both roughing and finishing. Uh, and we can select some of the, the options here which will, the, which will affect the surface finish. I'm going to go next and then compute the cutter paths. So the, the coarsely separated paths are the roofing paths and then once we finish the roofing which, which it indicates down here what level we're at we're then into the finishing strategy. So the, the cutter paths that are closer together are the, the finishing paths. Uh, it works its way right around uh, the object, rastering back and forward. Again, in reality, uh, when we look at the simulation, it would be the, uh, uh, the component that was rotating and the cutter uh, would be fixed in the vertical plane. Okay, so we just let that finish computing okay and now we can look at the full simulation again we've got the roughing cutter paths which will re remove the majority of the material as you can see the finishing machining paths are much closer together you can see we're getting a much smoother surface finish. So 
So once the finishing is complete and the simulation is complete and we're happy with the program uh, that we've created, then we can just go next, save the program, it will automatically load it into the main application and re-simulate. Again, the program that's be been created is a full industrial specification program exactly the same that you would find on an industrial machine tool. Uh, and once the simulation is complete, we can go straight to manufacture. So once the simulation is complete, the manufacturer icon is highlighted and where we connected to a machine, we could go straight to manufacture. That gives you a summary of how we deal with cylindrical objects, both from doing a map of a 2D program around a surface or full 3D manufacture from a CAD file. Thank you for your time.